No? Okay, Clayton. For our old school viewers, we started really posting to YouTube three years ago. The YouTube. Did I say the YouTube? Uh, no, I don't think. Aired. No, that's not what I said, but the YouTube. The YouTube. Three years ago. This was probably our second, maybe second or third video that we did on the channel when we really started to try to put out content. That was a previous owner. Our good buddy, Robbie, picked this car up um, a little while ago. He, it's, it's had tons of mods. We can go through, actually, I'll link to the old video above. It came here originally for um, boost control issues. Mm. It was a, obviously three years ago now and Robbie's the new owner, and since he's picked it up, he's done a few things, found a few problems with it. We just want to get it on the dyno just to make sure everything is 100% because he plans on going a little bit further with it, so we want to make sure everything's good and healthy the way it is now. Okay, so, I mean, in the old video, we went through like everything that was on this thing. I'm pretty positive, but high level, it's an HPA, would be comparable to the uh, HPA FX, FTX 450, FTX 450 kit. Um, it did like high 300, 398 or something around that. I don't remember exactly, again, it was three years ago. We've done a lot of cars since then. But HPA kit, uh, 91 octane, it used, when Robbie picked it up, it did have air ride and the old video would have had air ride. Immediately that got sold because we're not- it sold, it came off. He oh, sorry. It. Yeah, it's for sale. You yeah, guys are interested yeah. in an air ride kit for Mark V, Mark VI or A3. It's for sale. Hit us up. I'll give you Robbie's info. Um, so on that note, yeah, he, he uh, took off the air ride and it has a set of scale suspension on it now. And uh, what else have you changed, Robbie? Just a couple of little maintenance Fixed things, wiring. sensors, some wiring problems, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, we just got it back on the dyno. We want to make sure all is good with it before Robbie continues doing its uh, modifications and stuff like that. So we have a baseline from years ago, but we're going to see what it does now. Clayton, you ready? I am. I'm going to log it again to make sure everything's good. He runs this around 14 pounds, which is probably where we left it way back with the previous owner. And um, so we're just gonna go 14 pounds, see what, it, see what it makes for power. Should be an easy one. Should be an easy one, we'll see. All right, peeps, here we go. Only 1.87 since it, it went down in power. Did I make more than that on the bike? <laughs> oh, you might have made more than that on the bike. I yeah. Think I, did. That's yeah good. I don't know. Let's uh, put it to speed and see if it picked it up at all. Hey, do you remember uh, these needle gauges that destroy say, your thumbs? I was going to say you're making Robbie do it this time. It's bullshit. You don't have to bleep that. So, the first run, actually, we'll talk about that. The gearing was just set up wrong, so we fixed that. That's we were able to recover that dyno run. It was correct in speed, but it just wasn't correct in engine speed. That makes sense, Clayton. It's 
speed versus engine speed. Um, and it's seen a peak of 15 pounds, but it's like running like a supercharger right now. It literally only hit 15 pounds at the very top. Clayton can show the graph. It just goes kind of very linear straight up. Yeah, you see that. So we're gonna try to get the thing to spool way sooner like it should be, and that will make a difference in power. We're not even gonna touch boost. We're just gonna touch how the boost comes in with the boost controller. Robbie, did Robbie have a meltdown? Yeah, Robbie had a little bit of a meltdown trying to change this silly controller. So we're gonna start logging again. Hopefully we get the boost coming on a little earlier. All I really care about is if it's knocking. Um, couple other things but we know the car works because we were just so thrashing on it and he's been thrashing on it for a little while but we're checking over everything because the end goal for this thing is we're probably going to put standalone on it and Robbie's thinking about going with a much different much larger turbo setup because this engine's fully built so for those that might be interested this kit this HBA turbo kit um, is likely going to be for sale so if you're interested I don't imagine it's gonna last long this kit because there's not a lot of turbo kits available for um, the R32 anymore and the ones that are the HBA kits they're huge money so this would be a major savings for anybody looking to do this kind of power uh, well not this kind of power more power than this but yeah so this kits probably gonna be for sale if you're interested hit us up we're just going to log it, see if we got any more with the boost controller the way it is. I was saying something and I totally lost track. Oh yeah. For those that are enjoying the content, we usually put this at the end of the video. We're trying to hit 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We have lots of video content coming. We're heading to World Cup. For those that are going to World Cup, import versus domestics, we will be there. So if you see us, stop and say hi. But we're trying to hit 25,000 subs by the end of the year. So if you're following along, but you're not subscribed, Subscribe, do us a favor, right Clayton? Sounds violent. That sounds violent. Got a little bit more power, but not really what I was hoping for. So we're gonna try that again. So we're switching it to gate because the it looks like the crack pressure for the boost for the wastegate is wrong, which is why it's lazier. I mean, we did gain power that time. We did 368, but still the boost is coming in lazy we're going to try to fix that so by fixing that we're going to run it just off the gate to see what just spring pressure is yeah. Robbie didn't turn it off <laughs> it is off Sound any less violent? Huh. For the record, YouTube, it's all confusion. Still, you still hate that boost controller? Oh, I do. Yeah, that's why I'm making Robbie do it all. It's poison. It's poison on the fingers. Okay, we need to look at a few things. And we're good on the dyno. We're good. Okay, Clayton, let's do it. Well, we gained more horsepower. Also made a peak of 17 pounds. <laughs> Clayton, like before with this car, the boost controller is poison. It's like poison to work with. I want you to add in the clip, and Robbie and I just watched it. Now, the, the bloopers at the end of you like fighting with it? Yes, and there's another clip in the middle where you can see how frustrated I am. I'm going to try to without 
breaking my fingers off here. I get that sense of one. No matter what I do with my fingers, it doesn't work. Maybe press quicker. If you hold it for three seconds, it clears it without showing you. It's not, I'm pressing it, doesn't work. Press it, doesn't work. Press it, doesn't work. Stupid. Or just keep flashing back and forth here. It just doesn't, it doesn't cooperate. It's so ridiculous. Did you get it? No. Oh my God, this thing is a piece of Like yeah, if AEM's watching, put some fucking buttons on this thing, not little needles. Robbie and I are to the point now of beyond frustration with the boost controller. We're gonna do one more run just to make sure things are good. The last run I think was like, was it 380 or 370? But clearly it's doing similar things we compared to the other grass. It just, yeah. it's- So we're it's gonna do one more just to- just Exactly, it's a pain. So we're gonna do one more run to make sure all is good. We're not gonna mess around with this controller anymore because Rob wants to put standalone on this car. And uh, we'll make sure everything's in check on this one, but we're not playing with the boost control anymore. terrible I let out early and uh, 394 which I think is where we left off on the last one I think it was 398 and we had it on here before as you can tell if you look at the last run the red run super smooth sounds savage that was a peak of 15.88 pounds uh, and that's only at the very end of the run and really it should be making with this turbo it should be making 15 pounds of boost like 4,000 RPM and on easily. So we're just done messing with the boost controller. We're gonna get out, we'll wrap this thing up. Clayton, you got any questions? You look like you're gonna talk to me. No, no. I'll okay. ask you. Okay, bye. It's because the dyno works. Yeah, after the oil The carnage? Spill. The, 20, it's the everything, oil spill. everything around here has been soaked in oil heavily. In fact, my booster pack that I use every day because every battery's dead. That just constantly leaks oil now. It just, it's like it has an engine in it. It just leaks oil. But the A3, Clayton. Yeah. We ended off with 394 wheel horsepower. We did notice the boost being lazy, as you've probably seen in the video, comparison kind of to where it was before. And with, as you would see from the frustration of using that specific boost controller, a true boost, I've used them a lot in the past, but this one's just, weathered and even more painful to use. So with the plans of Robbie selling this turbo kit and moving on, making a bunch more power, we've just opted to stop filming for this thing. It makes good power, 394. Um, everything looks very smooth and linear. The thing sounds incredible. As you can see, the fancy wheels, the big HBA kit, we covered all that in the last video. It is running uh, Unitronic software. As I probably mentioned in the video already, we plan on switching this to standalone, probably gonna do ECU masters with it. And because it has a built engine, we're gonna shoot for quite a bit more power. Oh, he, did you hear that? I, I did, he's, I, now I understand why. He's chasing, he's chasing he's the big boy numbers. Big boy's number, big boy numbers. We're girl numbers. Yeah, yeah girl numbers. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I gotta keep Kayla in check. So if you guys have any questions or comments about this thing, you know, it is going to be a little bit repetitive before, but since Robbie picked it up, we wanted to get it back on the dyno and check things out. It's good that we did. If you guys have any questions or comments, ask them below, and we'll see you in the next video.